Now it is relatively quiet here on the East Coast, but those waves out there, they're getting progressively bigger as we wait for Irma. Hurricane Irma churned through the Northern Caribbean overnight, devastating small islands. It's the strongest recorded storm to hit the Atlantic. It was the worst time in all my life. And I would not want to see another hurricane like this again. And it's been not like this. This is the worst. Irma stayed largely offshore in Puerto Rico, but St. Martin, the Turks and Caicos Islands, and the tiny island of Barbuda taking direct hits. The entire country has been decimated. Irma, with winds at more than 150 miles per hour, now taking aim for the Bahamas and Cuba, and tomorrow, South Florida. And here on the coast of Florida, you can see people are boarding up their houses. Many of these houses actually empty. People are heeding the call to get out of town. More than a million people ordered to evacuate, desperate to stock up on gas and food. I'm very scared, so I'm just trying to get as far north as possible. Traffic backed up and shelves already wiped clean of bottled water. This storm is wider than our entire state and is expected to cause major and life-threatening impacts from coast to coast. The Florida governor warning everyone who can to get out now, remembering the last monster storm here 25 years ago. Remember Hurricane Andrew is one of the worst storms in the history of Florida. Irma is more <coughs> devastating on its current path. And the governor emphasized they will not come rescue you in the middle of a storm. Emergency crews actually stop going out when winds hit about 40 miles an hour. We're expecting winds at three times that. Molly Hunter, ABC News, New Smyrna Beach. Back to you.